In the reading, White Privilege, Unpacking the Invisible Knapsack, Peggy McIntosh compares white privilege to male privilege. She states that men are willing to admit that women are at a disadvantage, but they are unwilling to admit that they are at an advantage. Furthermore, she claims that they say they are willing to work towards helping women gain advantage, but they are unwilling to take away their own advantages. She says this is much like how white people are privileged and they acknowledge that they are privileged, but are unwilling to take away the things that make them privileged. McIntosh says that males and white people are taught not to acknowledge their privilege. Because we are taught not to acknowledge our privilege, it can be hard to recognize and accept that we have them. If we are not taught about these privileges, it can be hard to recognize them because you are assuming that this is what life is like for everyone else. You will not understand that you have an advantage because you don't know what others have to go through. McIntosh made a list of 26 privileges that she has. She says that she repeatedly forgets that she has these privileges until she writes it down and thinks about them. She says that because she was not taught to recognize these privileges, she often forgets that she even has them. She compares privilege to an invisible map sack. Because we cannot see our privilege, and most of the time we are unaware that it is there, but it will still follow us around. To get rid of the knapsack, we cannot just disapprove of our privileges. As a whole, the oppressive group needs to change their attitude completely. To do this, we need to first stop denying that these privileges exist. Then, we need to stop being silent about the issue. Even when you can, even when everyone is on the same page, you can get everyone on the same page, McIntosh says that it will still take decades to redesign the social system. So, not only do we need to acknowledge our privilege, we need to be actively trying to combat it. McIntosh states that there are two different types of privileges. There's a positive privilege and a negative privilege. She says that we need to spread the positive privileges by sharing it with everyone. An example of a positive privilege is feeling like you belong or feeling that you're welcome. Positive privileges can also be referred to as an unearned advantage or an unearned entitlement. Along with spreading the positive advantages, we need to be shutting down our negative privileges or privileges that harm other groups that are different from us. After you read this passage, think about these next few questions. Can you think of an example of a positive advantage that you have based on one of your social identities? Can you think of a negative advantage that you have based on one of your social identities? What can you do to spread the positive advantage to others that don't experience it? What can you do to stop spread of your negative privileges? Remember that negative privileges are defined as privileges that harm the people that are different from you, whether it's race, sexuality, gender, etc. Read through McIntosh's list of 26 privileges very carefully. After you read through them, what were, were there any that you realized that you have that you didn't know for reading this? If so, what were they? Why do you think that you've never noticed them before? Is this privilege a positive or is it negative? If it's positive, how can you spread it to others? And if it's negative, what can you do to prevent or stop this privilege from reoccurring?